Hey, what's up guys, Coach Nate here. And today I wanna to talk about the myth of brown rice versus white rice and why thinking this way is actually something that can be impeding your results long-term. The internet right now is a cesspool of misinformation, things that are totally opposites, and people arguing about myopic things. So you get all these people who are talking about wellness and saying that you shouldn't eat any nightshades. You, if you eat gluten, you might as well just jump off a bridge. And if you're going to eat any legumes or dairy products, then you'll never be healthy and you might as well stop trying. And I'm gonna try to tell you that that's categorically not true. So kind of jumping into that, that white rice versus brown rice debate, what's great is that both of those things fall into a common category of rice, okay? So what's interesting about white rice is that it's, it's a starchy carb and it lacks the husk that brown rice has. Now brown rice is also a starchy carb, and it has a husk. So people will talk about, oh, brown rice is a lot healthier, um, lower glycemic, slower digesting. But let me ask you a question. When was the last time you ate a bowl of rice and then we're like, mm, that's good, Got, had my meal, moving on to the next thing? That's probably not you, unless you're living on a rice patty in Japan somewhere. So most of the time we're mixing our rice with other things from Chipotle and you're eating it in a combination together. So that basically eliminates the glycemic index argument completely because you're mixing it with beans, which are slower digesting, high, high fiber. You're mixing it with meat, slower digesting. You're mixing it with something, guac, some cheese, higher fat, slower digesting. So you're slowing the digestion by adding other elements to your meal. The other thing that brown rice has that white rice doesn't have is the, what's it called, phytates that come with the husk. Phytates are, are described as being anti-nutrients. That means that when they break down your body, they leach onto things like calcium and other vitamins or minerals and then pull them out of your bloodstream. <gasps> oh no! Here's the thing about that. Doesn't matter either. It's in such small amounts that anti-nutrients aren't going to make or break your diet. White rice is not going to make or break your diet. And when you look at the nutrition ingredients on a label of white rice versus brown rice, they're so similar, there's really no difference at all. So rather than getting into these debates about which one is better, white rice or brown rice, let's focus on the big issues, okay? Everyone seems to spend all their time trying to figure out what the next best thing is, what the magic pill is going to be that's going to set them apart and finally get them the results they want. But they are essentially stepping over $100 bills to pick up nickels, okay? So let's get your sleep dialed in. Let's get your breakfast dialed in. Let's get your hydration dialed in. And let's get you training on a consistent basis. Those are the things that's gonna set you apart and get you the results that you want without having to really worry about is white rice, is it brown rice? Here's the thing, eat whatever kind of rice you like better. Whatever kind of rice is going to be something that you can eat with other healthy, nutritious foods and give you the long-term results you're looking for rather than a flash in a pan, anything like that. So hopefully this rant is helpful for you because what I want to do, give you the freedom to do is eat the foods that you enjoy and figure out what the foods are that are going to give you the energy and performance that you want and then let's do that consistently, okay? So compliance is the science. Stay with the things that are working for you and then really let go of those other things that are keeping you from focusing on the big rocks. The brown rice versus white rice, steady state cardio versus high intensity cardio, CrossFit versus weightlifting, paleo versus keto. None of these things are matter long term. It's all about finding what works and then doing that consistently. So. Hope you have a great day. Drop me any questions you have about that below.